The New Small Person by Lauren Child. Elmore Breen started off life as an only child, as many children do. He had a room all to himself, and everything in it was his. He was very proud of his room. He watched all his favorite cartoons on his own little TV set. No one ever changed the channel. He could line up, line up all his precious things on the floor, and no one moved them one inch. When his uncle Cecil gave him a jar of jelly beans, Elmer could eat every single bean all by himself in whatever order he liked. There was no need to worry about anyone eating the orange ones because Elmer Green's parents did not eat jelly beans. Elmer Green's parents thought he was simply the funniest, cleverest, most adorable person they had ever seen. And Elmer Green liked that because it is nice to be the funniest, cleverest, most adorable person someone has ever seen. But then, one day, everything changed. Someone else came along. The new person was small and didn't do much, but still people picked it up and smiled at it and gave it things to chew. They all seemed to like it, maybe a little bit more than they liked Elmer Green. The new small person didn't like watching Elmer Green's favorite TV cartoons and would squawk until the channel was changed. Elmer did not find shows for small people at all stimulating. But everyone said that the small person couldn't help it because it was only small. Sometimes the small person would come into El Elmer's room and knock things over and sit on things that didn't want to be sat on. Once, it actually licked Elmer's jelly bean collection, including the orange ones. As anyone knows, jelly beans that have been licked are not nearly so nice. But everyone said Elmer could not be angry because the small person was only small. Elmer Green wished the, little, the small person would go back to wherever it came from. But Elmer's parents explained that this was not possible. The small person got bigger and things got much worse. One day, Elmer found the small person wearing his fourth most favorite outfit without asking. That's mine, said Elmer, so it's not for small people. I want to be the same as you, said the small person. But Elmer Green did not want to be the same as someone small. The small person followed Elmer Green everywhere. It wanted to sit next to him. It wanted to copy everything that Elmer did. It wanted to be everywhere that Elmer was. Where are you going, Elmer? said the small person. Nowhere, said Elmer. Can I come? said the small person. When the small person said things like this, Elmer Green would go and sit up a tree. He did not want to be someone small, did not want to want someone small following him around. One awful day, the small person moved into bed into Elmer Green's room. Now, Elmer couldn't get away from it. It was always there looking at him. Sometimes it would stretch out its arms and say, Huggy! But Elmer didn't want to cuddle up to someone small. However, one night, everything changed. Elmer Green had a bad dream. It was very upsetting. A scary thing was chasing him, waving its grabbers and gnashing its teeth. Elmer screamed and the small person bravely got out of bed and clung onto him. Go away, scary, shouted the small person. It was nice to have someone there in the dark when the scaries were around. A few days later, 
Elmer Green was lining up all his precious things, so they reached from his bedroom door all the way down the stairs. It was a very line, long line of things. The small person was amazed. Ooh, he said. I could make them reach the front door if I had more things, said Elmore. I have more things, said the small person. I have at least five or three things. You can have them. It felt good to have someone there who understood why a long line of things was so special. The next evening, Elmer was laughing at the TV. The small person looked at Elmer and then at the TV. And then he laughed too. It was very funny. More funny somehow with two people laughing than just one. Elmer opened his jar of jelly beans. You can have a jelly bean if you like, Albert. His brother, Albert, smiled. Elmer smiled back. Whichever color you like, said Elmer. Except orange. <laughs>